eels are, are very important uh, part of the freshwater ecosystems and in uh, Cape Breton Highlands National Park we have them in every watershed in the park. The eel has been identified by uh, COSIWIC, that's the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada, for some years as being a species of some concern. Um, category is actually special concern. When they were doing the designation for special concern they realized that they didn't have enough data. So uh, until people were able to get better figures in and actually show a, a good picture of the eel in, in Atlantic Canada that they were able to, to uh, determine that it is threatened. Eels have been uplisted, they call it, from the species of special concern by Kosiewicz to threatened in May of 2012. One of the roles that Parks Canada offers is that we have these unexploited watersheds that uh, enable us to see how natural populations might be doing. We've been looking at eels for approximately four years now, trying to get a handle on what the in-migrating juvenile populations are, but also looking at, at what our resident populations of yellow eels are. We've been doing work with Catherine Jones at Cape Breton University, um, basically trying to establish length at age curves so that we can translate that length back to that age. Uh, she's been doing uh, the aging basically with uh, otoliths, which are a little ear bone in the, in the eel uh, that shows the same sort of rings as, as tree rings. I only started working on eels about five years ago, so it's very difficult um, as any population there, it's it's difficult to get an assessment of cycling or declines or increases, um, but at least we now have good baseline data for this area. We're now finally in a, in a situation where we can start to assess what the trends might be. It looks like the eel population has been dropping, but also that there seem to be um, a smaller proportion of uh, the young ones in the uh, samples for the last two years. Our eel harvesters in the Bedore Lakes, the Nima eel harvesters, have said that yes, there has been a decline in eels, but since uh, you know the past few years, they're starting to see them come back in areas where they haven't seen them in a while. So the wider the data collection is, I think the better our estimates will be, and uh, to have it continue through time is, is a requirement to better understand what's happening with the population. I think the park has really learned a lot. We've gone from knowing very little about this really fascinating creature to having just more and more questions. Fascinating. Mm -hmm.